Hey, what's up everybody? Wes here with Consumers Authority, previously known as How To's and Product Reviews. I appreciate you guys sticking with me through these name changes. I think this is one we're going to settle on. And today I'm going to be going over a rivet gun made by Newmaster. I picked this up off of Amazon for a couple of projects that I had to do on my truck and it worked out really well. So I want to kind of show you this as an overview. It's a really affordable option and it's just a very simple rivet gun. Um, it comes with 200 pieces total. So you see here, uh, each of the four different sizes you've got, you've got 50 rivets in each bag. So this is a really great deal. It even comes with this awesome carrying case. So this gun is going to replace this older style rivet gun that you might have seen laying around your dad's house. Maybe you still have one. Uh, obviously I've got one here, but this one here is just a lot more ergonomic, uh, just to fit in your hand better. All the pieces screwing right here to the back. So you've got your four different sizes. Um, there's three additional here and it comes with one installed. In order for this gun to fit in the case, it's gotta be closed. So you just flip that latch and it opens right up and then you're ready to go. So you'll take your rivet that's sized for the tip that you have installed and make sure that it fits in there flush. And then all you really have to do to get ready to use it is to drill a hole and then pop your rivet in. If you need to do a different size, all you have to do is pull the handle shut to take the pressure off. And you can unscrew this here, lefty loosey, righty tighty, just like anything else. And then you can take one off of the back when you're ready to exchange that. Um, this is the particular one that I'll be using in this video, so I'll put it right back into place. But just so you can see here, you have your three options in the back. They are color-coded, and they're stamped with the sizes. But if you're going to swap it out, it's really easy to do. You just take this out, and it's just a simple way to keep up with these. That way they're not rolling around in a bag or loose in the case where they might fall out. So this keeps them very secure. So in order to demonstrate the functionality of this tool, I've got an old piece of scrap metal here and I've pre-drilled a hole in it. So you'll put the rivet just in there in the hole like you see, and then you'll have your tool and that bar slides in. So you do wanna make sure you have the right size rivet, um, make sure you've got the right size hole and give it a couple of cranks. And once you give it about two or three cranks, just like that, it'll pop loose and that bar breaks away from your rivet. And so this is the clean side of your rivet. This is the part would normally be showing. And normally you're attaching two pieces of metal together. I did this single piece just for demonstration purposes. And then in order to finish the job, you just pull out this piece of scrap rivet, toss it aside because you won't need that. Now this tool's older cousin that's quite a bit beefier is made by Amjoy Tools and it's a rivet nut tool. This is something I hadn't heard of until I needed it for a specific project on my truck where I was putting a catalytic converter plate on the bottom. And basically it's a rivet gun also, but it puts these little nut certs up in there to where you can put a screw in it. So here's another piece of scrap metal where it's actually been cinched on there. Um, this tool squeezes it and it puts a little lip on there to where this can't come out. And but you can also put a bolt up into it. Um, for your vehicle, for sheet metal, anything like that. Again, this one's made by Amjoy Tools. It's also on Amazon. I'll have a link below for that. It comes with the eight different mandrels and the eight different sizes of nut certs, and it's really handy. I mean, all you do is open up the wings on it, screw the nut cert on there. You need to go ahead and have your hole pre-drilled for it, and you just place it up in there. So after you've test fitted your nut cert, you just get it attached to the tool here and get it firmly pressed into place and just give it a good squeeze. Once the arms are fully depressed, it's going to go ahead and it's going to mount it in there for you. Then you just turn the dial to loosen it away from the threaded portion. And once it comes loose, everything's fully installed and you're ready to insert a bolt into that frame. Now, although these are specialty tools, they're definitely very handy to have around the house. I've used them for various projects. I think they're gonna last a really long time. They're really solid. They're actually kind of heavy, um, but they're definitely maneuverable. I really think they're gonna hold up and do well. If I have a bad experience over time, I'll let you know. But if you have any questions about them, definitely drop those in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. If you have any suggestions for any future videos or any products that you'd like us to review, also would love to hear from you. But in the meanwhile, thanks again for tuning in, and we hope to see you next time. All right, peace.